All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we are back. Hey, I'm on fire. We're back for week 14. We are now doing GBA for the first time. We're going to be starting off today with Alien Hominid, which was suggested by Ski Condor. And hopefully I have the window correct. Fingers crossed, guys. Hey, it's correct. It's kind of like what I did for the uh, the Game Boy. I did a little thing here for the Game Boy Advance. This one was a little easier to set up in comparison. I've never played any of the Persona uh, games. I've always been kind of interested, though. I always hear about them a lot. I know they're really popular, too. Hey, Star. Well, hopefully, Captain M, we can just, like, kind of chill, hang out here, take your mind off things. Just try to breathe, have some laughs, watch me fail miserably at these games. Isn't a, a Mystic... Mystic Arc is the... I don't know if it was an official sequel to the Seventh Saga, um, or if it was exactly the same company. My brother, like, way, way, way back then, I think, started an LP for that, but he never finished it. Uh, I don't know if I've ever heard of the other one there, I'm on fire. Treasure of Rudra. Rudra, yeah. Yeah, Alien Hominid was a Newgrounds thing. It was, I think, maybe one of the few ones. It got really, I remember, because I used to frequent Newgrounds like crazy back then. Before YouTube, I spent all my time on Newgrounds. And um, Alien Hominid was actually made by um, Tom Fulp and, and, and Wade, or I forget exactly who it was. Um, um, from Newgrounds, they actually made this, and it got like so popular that they actually had a commercial release. It was on multiple consoles, so it wasn't just the GBA. Um, I remember seeing it around, but I've never actually played it. I don't remember if Alien Hominid was originally just a cartoon or if it was originally a Flash game. I want to say it was a Flash game. Yeah, it was a successor to the Seven Saga one? Yeah, yeah. Never got an official American release as far as I know. I think there was an actual like translation patch for it though. I I think. Uh I, I guess it was. Newgrounds is still around right now. It's still up and kicking. You know, I, I don't frequent it anymore, but I used to all the time back then. It was sort of a prequel of some sort. Okay, okay. That's that shows you how much I really knew about it. Yeah, Newgrounds back in 2000, baby. That was that was my jam before YouTube. I don't know when the GBA was, but um, here, let's go ahead and we'll let's check the options. Uh, we'll just leave it on. To... You got easy, medium, and hard, and you got thumb sucker if you really want it easy. Uh, well, gore, I assume, is on. Uh, yeah, why would I? Why would I not want the gore? Oh, it's got to save my settings, even though I don't didn't technically actually change anything. They blocked it. <laughs> they blocked it on school. Doesn't surprise me, Moxie, because you could find some um, not safe for work or school stuff on there for sure. Yeah, I'm, I was kind of surprised, Captain N, too. I mean, like, not so much that it's still up, but like, I more so wonder how much traffic does it still get? I saw like people still upload Flash stuff, so it's it's kind of nuts. Um, I don't want the mini games, but let's go ahead and actually get started before we just start chatting while I'm not actually playing here. Start the timer. I, I could not honestly tell you when the release dates of like anything, consoles, games, or anything was. I, I don't, I don't remember that kind of stuff. But I remember this was kind of a big deal that this Flash game got so popular it actually got a commercial release, which is just crazy to think. My ship. And again, if this was, <laughs> nothing to see here. If this was just a straight Flash game back then, I never played it. I just knew it existed. I don't know why I didn't play it. I really should have back then since it was so darn popular. Um, I think I can, I can pause. I can chuck nades. I got my blaster. Jumping is a little floaty. Oh, I got a power up. Now I don't know, like, 
if anyone's actually familiar with Alien Hominid from back in the Flash days, was there any actual plot to it, or what What was the whole point of it? It's just like, I, I, I guess I'm an alien, I crash on Earth, or like, I'm back with a vengeance to take revenge on something. And so I'm just gonna like, kill all these random like, government guys who are trying to keep it covered up, I guess? I don't know. <laughs> can I get in this? Oh my god, I can actually get in this. They actually had that on the school computers. You know what? You mentioned that Moxie. Ice. I. Oh. Oh, that's actually. Oh, this is actually still just part of my gun. Oh, I can shank people. Oh, if I get close enough, it melees. Um, more than on one occasion, I saw during class students playing Halo against each other, just like in the computer lab or in the class, and it's just like it's kind of ridiculous, honestly, that they just had like no shame. They didn't even care. Can I interact with this guy in the back here? He's, sh he's shitting his pants over there behind the behind the fence. This guy's just oh Jesus! All right, calm down. Have a nade. I should just stay up here. Okay, I maybe not. Oh, I got wow! That is to kill me. What the hell? Oh, he got a lot of health. All right, if I just if I just dodge the infinite kill laser. All right, wait a minute, wait what? I just touched him and that was enough to kill me. I tried to jump. I didn't know the timing of it. Wow. Or am I reading that wrong? Is that just like my number of lives, not my hit points? Is it one hit kills for everything? Wow, I timed that wrong. Very very wrong. I meant to jump. I don't know why it went down. Also, holy crap, I guess maybe it is just all one-hit kills? Shit, fuck, if I'm gonna die, I'm gonna chuck all my nades. Oh, he needs, he needs to die. He needs to die in the cycle. Just die. Die, 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 die. Ooh! Hellboy Adventures. I want to say I recall that by name I'm on fire. No, definitely didn't play it, but that sounds familiar. Can I just go in here? Oh, it's, I, have, I have to move forward enough to progress the screen. Can I hold? Oh, I can hold! Hold up, hold up, this change- Holy shit, it's Mega Man. I can charge up. Well, it's Mega Man, but with gore. Not really. It's not, it's not even really Mega Man at all, but just... Whenever you can charge up, I think Mega Man. Alright, camera, what the fuck? Would I play a Powerpuff Girls GBA game? Hell yeah, I would! <laughs> I watched Powerpuff Girls back in the day, that was the shit! Best character! Mojo, Jojo. I actually want. What would my favorite character actually be? For it probably would be Mojo Jojo. I thought he was just ridiculous. I mean, as long as the game has like, I don't know. I mean, I'd be willing to give it a shot. That's kind of the whole point of these 30-minute things. Wow, this guy's tanky. Why is he dying? Also, okay, he can't hit me if he decides to do that. Maybe I should do a charge shot? Maybe I should just run past him? Does it even... No, I have to kill him. I also fired the wrong way. Oh, he's exploding. Yeah, I know. The, the camera comes back down. I was like, and by the way, you died while you are down there. You know, that's honestly a gripe that I have with certain games where if they do stuff with your camera and take control away from you, particularly in a very critical situation, and then it cuts back to you, and then you get hit or you die because it's like, it interrupted you. I hate that kind of stuff. I guess there's no, there's no point in me necessarily killing these guys. I should just kill them as they are. Like, oops, okay. I guess you just, you really do just have a, uh, oh wait, hold up. Because I have continues. Oh, just, yeah, okay, just eats through the continues. Wow. I suck. Apparently there is no health bar. What what is that infinite thing in the top left then? What the hell is that? Below that's my grenades. The grease glob. Alright. Oh, he's got spikes on his arms. Oh, oh my god, the guns again! No! Fuck just get grenaded! Fuck you! Does he have a weak spot? Oh, okay. Wow, this game gives no shits. Yeah, I'm not hurting him. What's the weak what's a weak spot? Where is he weak? 
All right. Trying to figure out the weak spot, and... Oh, my God. I got to just get up in him. Was he earthquaking me? Yeah, he is. Okay, okay. We'll figure... Uh, I'm good. It's like Contra. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna suck a lot until we figure things out, guys. Okay, yeah, but... He's like the yellow devil. He's weak to the eye. Well, I gotta pay attention. How much does a charge shot do? Oh, yeah. Charge shots in between is definitely the way to go. That's what I need, I need to be doing. Grenades and charge shots. Okay, he's doing something different. He's tracking me. He's got no arms now. Yeah, what are you gonna do now? What are you gonna do now? You got nothing. Oh, that's my weapon energy in the top left. Okay. Oh, he's like, yeah! The best character was him. He was so creepy. That guy was, that, yeah, he was, he was fucking nuts. The whoop-ass girls? Were they actually... <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's completely different from Powerpuff versus Whoop Ass. Probably the bus mirror. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's that, that's what it was. Yeah, the ground, the ground was killing. I can't feel my legs. I said, Bubba, they ain't there. Powerpuff Girls, Mojo, Jojo, a go go. Uh, remind me at the end, Moxie. So I'll, I'll write it down later. Yeah, I know. It's, it, well, I lost control at that point, Captain N, so I was like, I can't, okay, I, it must be just an ending sequence thing, because I can't move. Stay calm, a crazed alien is a dead alien. Uh, wait, a crazed alien is a dead alien. Okay. Did it give me a continue? I had three. Maybe I earned a continue. Oh, shit, they got shields now. Oh, can a charge shot break the shield? Yes, it can. Also, they were like wailing on that castle of crap. Oh, I landed on top of the building. Are these, will these build? Oh, okay. Grenade, I'm trying to fix. Oh, they do break. Wow, I'm honestly surprised that nade didn't didn't blow me up. Let's say house house of. I read that as a U. That looks like house of nut. Come inside, get your nut on. Or get your nuts off. What would be the phrasing for that? Come inside and bust a nut! That's all I can think of, I'm sorry. Oh, sh I was reading the chat. I, sh I should have realized that there was a tank in front of me. Also, I'm gonna just chuck nades like crazy. Yeah, the, the kids the kids don't seem to care. Only the government officials. Uh, government agents, whatever. They're the only ones who really seem to care. She just... Okay, oh, okay, nope, I landed up here, all right. Actually, this, maybe this is where I want to be. Nope, he can shoot upwards. Oh, he's dead. Doesn't matter. Can I charge this? Super flame Thor. Oh, yeah, they can't do shit when I'm up there. What does that say right there? This right here. All right, I got shot. Is this a little dicks storage? That can't be what it says, right? They store little dicks in there? What? Was this like a survival? I gotta kill everything? Yeah. Hoss ass grill. I mean, this did come from Newgrounds. It's definitely gonna have that kind of humor. Can I just be on top of them, like outright? Oh, yeah. I actually, I guess I just need to make use of these buildings more. Getting up top for stuff like this is actually, like, way safer. I also keep jumping down accidentally. What's that? Grenade? Maybe? Oh, that's probably grenades. That was... <laughs> well, you say he's an alien trying to live his life. It really looks like... 
I assume he's like invading Earth, but for what purpose I don't know. Like he just crash lands. I mean, yeah, they take a ship away, but then he just starts killing. Maybe maybe we're both in the wrong. I don't know. I gotta be careful. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, wow, he froze his own friend. I should just keep using my nades more. This game plays really well, too. Like, the controls feel great. It's got good action. The, the animations and the gore and everything, it's cool. Like, I assume... Can I ride this? Oh, yeah, I can. Yeah! If the Flash game was just like this, like, I can see why it was super popular. Because you think from back then... Uh, can I, like, plow through this faster? There we go. You think about back then, like, to make a really, really good Flash game, like... It, they were, they were uh, kind of rare. Like, you know, there was a lot of crap on there. To find really good stuff... Good quality stuff. Is it even worth me staying in this thing? It feels like it takes forever just to plow through anything. Oh god, I've died. This is the death trap if I just stay in this. Also, I, I knew I jumped into that shot. My floaty controls were too floaty. It's like, as long as I kill the gunner guy, the tank can't do anything to me up here. Now that now that is something that the government would do. They would they would capture him, take him to Area 51, and then uh, and then we'd have Independence Day happen, pretty much. Ooh. Instant pudding. Can I get some instant? Oh, it's gone. All well, the pudding's gone. Oh shit! The pudding's alive. Pudding pops. Oh god. Okay. What's the gimmick? What do I do? Yeah, spray water in his face. He doesn't like that. No, he really doesn't like that. All right, well, now what, though? He covered it up. Oh, I just got to wait till it opens up. Super scribble knots. Wow. Oh, okay. Fuck. Got to get an attack opportunity. Uh, I can't remember which scribble knots. It was like the original, the first one on the DS. I owned that, and that thing was a ton of fun. Oh, oh my god! Violence! You know what? Does a charge shot... Oh, man. Oh, fuck. Okay. I was trying to figure out if I could, like, charge shot to kill these quicker. Wow, okay. You have very little, uh, invincibility time. I think I just need to, like... I don't know how I can kill these quickly or not. be some well-thrown nades, but I'm missing with them. Fuck, I was hoping that would open up. I gotta keep attacking as often as I possibly can. I was getting groped. I was. And then they slammed me. Right into the ground! Come on, die from that. Please die. Fuck! How is that not dead? Alright, that'll get him. Okay, when he does that pose, that's that's that signifies the end of the level. I can stop. What's it what's it called when you try to test an alien reverse probing? I I guess. They're like, alright, alien. Time to give you a taste of your own medicine. The mighty great poop. Yeah, kind of, right? If he started singing, he could have been it. Like a living turd. Yeah. I, I don't know if that was really looking much like pudding anymore. I'm the great poo. Yeah, they were very touchy-feely. And then I got very touchy-feely with the ground as my face was getting slammed down into it. 
Focus on the bullets. All it takes is one to turn you into a dead alien. Pay, att pay attention to where they are and react. Oh, now wait a minute. Oh, does it just reset my continues and lives for every stage? If it does that, if it does that, that's cool. That actually makes it very possible. Oh, yeah. He looks so happy being in his tank. Food Lord. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. You'll have to break some point. How much can you take? Do okay, what would you do without the tank? This takes way too long to blow up. It's not even fighting back. No, I never played either Conquer, uh, Conquer's Bad Fur Day. I knew about it, never played it though. Nor uh, Earthbound. All right, well, I'm just gonna have to pop out because I can't shoot upwards. There we go. Ah, oh, my tank is gone. Oh well. Yeah. <laughs> he loved being that in that. I mean, who wouldn't like being in a tank like that? That'd be awesome. Oh, I can rot. I can wait for the kids and they'll rotate through the things. Okay, that's cool. Oh, the freeze is kind of cool. I like that there's different weapons. That's cool too. Since most regular enemies die, though, like, instantly. I don't know if you necessarily need to freeze them, but it's cool looking. Dead mice, fish are like plants. If I didn't, wasn't focused so much on trying to shoot stuff and read the chat, I could focus more on the, uh, on the signs and all the buildings and stuff. Crap count? Oh, okay, cr yeah. I don't know if I want any of that. The kids just see, kind of seem more, like, indifferent. They're just kind of, like, looking. They're just like, ah, whatever. Wow, this is one tough-ass mailbox. Let me tell you what. And then tell you that kid, he especially doesn't give a shit. He's just like, ah, whatever. I'm just gonna keep playing. Whereas all these other ones, they got these, like, weapons just in their back pocket, which makes you question why these kids have them in the first place. And why they're giving them to me. They're just like an alien. Cool. Let's give it weapons. Yeah, shit flavored ice cream. Is there any kind of like ice cream shop that has that that has like joke flavors? You know how you have like the jelly beans? Oh my ship. Jelly beans that have like the nasty flavors. Do they have? Oh, it's a different kind of game. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, dude. Wow. So I suck them up and then I just let them go. Oh, I gotta go probably drop him on this, I bet ya. Oh, except for I got hit there. Huh. But yeah, I wonder if there's like an ice cream shop that has that, like that. They have like joke flavors. How do I, what can I, what do I do with them? Oh, do I put them in the chipper? Hold up, hold up. Oh. Okay, I can put them in the chipper, but to what end? I thought I had to like drop them from a great height. I mean, that's cool, but I don't think I'm killing anything. Oh, what the hell happened? Did I get shot out of the sky? Destroy- yeah, you know what? That was- that was the game that kind of, like, came to mind. Destroy all humans. Alright, I- I have this chipper, and I can chip them, but how do I actually... I can't, like, lead it in front of the shot. Fuck. Okay, wait a minute. What do I do? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, thank you, Star. You're a genius. You're a genius. I didn't... I, I don't know why I didn't think that... Wait, okay, to be fair. Fuck. I didn't think I could suck up, like, fire or energy. Okay, it, it, if, if I grab it too close to me, it does hurt me. Okay, so I gotta, like... There we go, like that. There we go. I would have been here for a while, Star, if you hadn't pointed that out. There we go. 
And this is just to get these guys out of my way. But that doesn't really help me in terms of actually... Fuck! I was way too close to it. It sucks up pretty fast. At least it doesn't take too many. Ah, you saw me. The oh, fuck! I didn't, I didn't really need to start. I don't know why I tried to suck up then. It was way too close. But fuck. Okay, it's. I got. I got to bait it. I got to bait it lower because like it's way too close. Otherwise, I meant. I didn't really think it suck up that fast. Like it's surprisingly fast because I, I gotta like be able to pull it over. There we go. Well, that was kind of interesting. It's weird though. Well, they have wood chippers. I don't think they have wood dalers. Maybe they do, maybe they don't. I don't know. You've unlocked the mini game chipper. What is it? Throw as many of the, uh, the, the agents into the wood chipper as possible. One four. How many stages is this game? If this is only like the first world, charge up in between the mayhem for some screen clearing action. Oh, do we get a flying shoot 'em up stage? Please say yes. Uh, what? Okay, how do I move? Okay, I can. Oh, I have to. Oh, okay, fine. This is. I I have to. I can move only when I'm holding L or R, which is the gas. That was that was not self-explanatory. Also, this is not exactly like a flying shoot 'em up stage. I'm just trying to get somewhere. Okay, I'm here. Now what? The, are they attacking? Okay, you just what? I got it. Oh, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I actually do have a gun. Okay, I do actually have a gun. I don't know why, like, when I first pressed it, it didn't fire. Maybe I just didn't press it long enough. I don't know. <laughs> okay, this, this stage makes a lot more sense now. I guess the first one was just kind of a freebie, and they're kind of showing you what the objective is, is to destroy all helicopters. Holy shit, is my ship getting, like, more stuff? Ouch. Wah! Yeah, I know. <laughs> I hope it's not me killing Luigi. Mario! <laughs> Wah! Or am I trying to, like, get upgrade pieces? Oh, fuck. Is that what I'm trying to do? Like, I'm trying to get to these pieces for my ship? Ow, my asshole. I actually do have an HP bar, though, this time, though. It's kind of annoying to try to, like, kill these. It's, I almost just feel like it's better to run from these for the most part. I don't really make much progress. Give me my stuff! Oh, oh, dude! Now we're super fast! Zoom! Oh, it ran out. Holy shit! It, okay. Oh, I, I can. Oh. I can see my boost meter there. Never mind now. Wallow is you for smash! <laughs> it's a me, Waluigi. <laughs> Holy shit. My god! Holy shit, I'm a death machine now. Where do I go? It's not giving me any uh, directions to go. Ow, okay, calm down. There's no more directions. Where do I go? Alright, jackass! Come on, show yourself. There we go. Come on. I'm just gonna keep going back and forth until these assholes... Okay, there we go. Now I can have a boss fight. Fuck. Ah, fuck. I 
blew up. It's kind of weird. Like, unless I'm holding the gas, I can't, like, move. It's kind of like asteroids in that sense, but it's a little weird when I'm also trying to then aim and shoot that way. There we go. You dead? Any more? That was an interesting stage. It's got variety to it, which is nice. They sound like they're painfully. Quack. <laughs> Aflac. <laughs> you unlocked the mini game. Give the chicken a lickin'. America. I'm not exactly sure what the story uh, is there with that. Asteroids is classic. Oh, we made it to Second World. Way, 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 way back in the day at our local arcade when they actually had more of those old games, uh, I used to play it. Remember to dash. Dashing forward will roll you right under high bullets. I can dash? You can dash in enemies after they fire for a quick kill. Hold up. How do you dash? Oh, my God. L is, L is dash and roll. Not that I, like, needed it necessarily, but I thought when I pressed... Oh, when I was standing still and pressing it, of course nothing happened. Wow. Well, I learned it with three minutes to go, guys. Hey, we can dash and roll. Good to know. Also, did I get all my continues back? Yeah, it looks like it. Either that, I was just very generous with them. Is it a male chicken? I mean, there's only one way to find out, Star. The fuck? They're just pop- they're popping out of- it sounds like they're farting, though. Wow, all right, calm down. There's like a there's like a million of them all in the same spot. What the hell? There's no point in even like killing them. They just keep respawning. In Soviet Russia, chicken licks you. It's even got the KGB up there. That's funny. Damn KGB. Yeah, take that KGB. They don't they don't like aliens in Russia. Fuck, I ate that one hard. Take my grenade, sucker. I just threw three of them, and then I died. Alright, this guy's a jerk-off and needs to die. Thank you. I'm using ice on, on, on enemies that are used to the cold. I don't know how effective that would actually... Oh, I'm out of grenades. Yeah, it seemed like it would just be more effective to get up in his face, since I can't shoot over that. You got something for me, buddy? No, you're just gonna shiver in the cold? Alright, cool. Just take a, j a jacket off of, uh, one of these dead guys. You'll feel warmer. Oh, fuck. Just shank him! No. Well, timer's up. Let's try to finish the level. Let's finish out the level. The levels aren't generally too long if I kind of just, like, plow through. <laughs> Maybe at the end of the stage, Captain Dan, they'll all break out into dance. It'll be part of the boss fight. Nope, doesn't look like there's a dance number for this. What the fuck is this? Oh, he's using the... He's got, like, the sickle that thing. Fuck. Oh, shit. How did that not hurt me? God, now that I know I can actually roll, too, that would help for this for dodging and stuff. Oh, my God! They nuked the field! It's gonna do 
do it at some point. Aw, oh, fuck! I thought he was gonna wait. Fuck! Oh my god! The post- your post invincibility from coming back to life is very, very short. I keep thinking it's a little longer than it actually is. Jump, jump! Shank me. Just chuck nades. Oh, chuck the nade on the ground. That didn't do me any good. Yeah. Oh, God. Can I take that if you use it as a weapon? Nah. This is a fun little game. I like this game. Even on medium difficulty, I'd say it's a little bit on the easy side in that sense. But, like, it's fun playing it, though. Which I'm totally fine with. I'd rather it be a little on the easier side. For the purposes of this, I think, at least. Like the enemy that uh, Dr. Eggman would use. Snooping as usual, I see. Pingus! Alright, well, we went a little over the 30 minutes, but that's okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and make a save state. But uh, I dig this game. If Again, if this was the Flash version, if this is like just like a recreation of the Flash version of the game, I can totally see why it was uh, well praised. Like, it's fun. It's just a fun little game. Yeah, you get instant death. You don't have like, a health bar. But they give you a good number of lives and continues, and it seems to refill in between every stage. So, like, it's been, it's, it's, it's been pretty good so far. Um, and I'm getting distracted a little bit trying to reach chat at the same time at inopportune moments with getting me killed. If I was just playing, I could focus a lot more. But uh, it's definitely got that Newgrounds humor in it. Um, I like it. But uh, we must move on. So let's go ahead and pause this one here. We're going to go ahead and switch games. That's so switching. Sorry, it's taking me a bit longer here to switch. All right, so we are now switching over to Sonic. Oops. Ignore that. Sonic Advance. This was suggested actually by both Kickass and Scarlet. I got it twice, so I'll just mention them both. Is it going? There we go. Created by Sonic Team. Hey, <laughs> Kickass, you came just in time. We literally just switched games. It's actually funny that uh, Captain N that we were you were talking about Eggman. Well, I, I this was just the plan. So I always find it funny how that these things kind of work out. You mentioned Eggman. Kickass heard the call. He came. I was just appreciating the music there. That's pretty cool. 
Now, you guys know I did not grow up really with the Sega, so I never got to play that many Sonic games, so I wouldn't say I'm really good at them. <laughs> too fast for me, man, too fast. So, this will be kind of... It's gonna be embarrassing is what this is gonna be. Uh, let's see... Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, normal, I guess. Uh, we're just gonna do the regular game. Yeah, Dr. Rodnick's uh, Mean Bean Machine. Never actually played it. Seen it, though. The only uh, thing I ever uh, knew about that, but my first um, time ever seeing that name, was a song that someone made for Step Mania, you know, the DDR clone. Um, a song for that one. That was like the first time I ever actually saw the name Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. I'm like, oh, I've never heard of that. And then I kind of looked into it and saw what kind of game it was. Like, oh, okay, that's cool. But never actually played it myself. All right, let's go ahead and start the timer. And let's go. Now we have the four characters we can choose. We can choose Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, or Amy. I'm just going to pick Sonic because... I feel like he's probably, like, the standard character, and we'll keep things standard for me, since, again, I'm not, like, great at these kind of games. Um, I had to honestly look up the controls for this game, because I could not for the life of me figure out how to do some of, like, the, the rolling and dashing and stuff. Um, because, like, if I hold down and then hold A, that's when it does, like, the charge up roll, and I, I couldn't figure that out. Not, not on my own, not without looking it up. I can do, like, an attack in the air. I can, like, slide and roll. Uh, what else can I do? And I can just, like, kind of press down to roll as I'm going. And I know this is a game about speed. I'm not gonna be that fast. Just saying. Especially when I'm gonna be, like, trying to get up here and, like, get this stuff, like... Alright, just jumping on crap does actually kill it. Shield? Alright, nice. Tails is your boy. I'm trying to think who... I'm trying to think who my favorite character would be. I want to say maybe Knuckles. That's like my, my first instinct, but uh, I don't know. I don't know if I necessarily really have like a favorite Sonic character since I never really played it that much, you know? Well, there you go. I gotta, I gotta go fast. Woo! I can't even see. <laughs> I might just try to look at chat mostly in between stages, or when I die, so that I can try to focus on the speed. Just so you guys know. So if I miss anything, I'm sorry. I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to go fast! Fuck! That's, that, that's not fast at all! See, like this, like, how do I get up enough speed to- Oh wait, if I do this... No, like... There we go, okay. Whoa, okay! Woo! All right, good. Checkpoint. Just, just roll. I don't think just rolling like this alone is enough to attack enemies, right? Whoa! Oh yeah. Yeah, it's like the whole point is like you want to go fast, and then you hit something like, oh man, I'm not going fast anymore. For me though, like as a kid, I always just felt like it's too fast. It's I don't know, man. Like I couldn't, I couldn't keep up. My eyes can't keep up even now. Well, that was that was lackluster. Let's use this. Let's use this. There we go. That's a little faster. Shit. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. At least they gave me a gimme by having stuff you can fall down to. <laughs> oh my god. Ooh, rails. Can I grind on those? Oh, come on! Oh, fuck! All my rings! I want to grind the rails! Let me hit this first. Can I grind the rails? Come on, grind! You can do it in all the other Sonic games, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't know how to grind. Wow, come on, Sonic, you can make it up this hill. No, apparently you can't. Like, wow, your momentum gets, like, doo-dooed on. Whoa, how did I, like, get a nice boost with that, though. I got. I don't know what I'm trying to do with that. Alright. We'll just let the stage carry me. Okay, so I can kind of just, like, roll through enemies like that. It does, uh, it does work. 
If I'm running, though, I'm, I'm assuming that's when I get hurt. But if I'm in ball form... Oh, okay. <laughs> I can grind on whatever I want. Grind them hips. There we go. See, that's what I want to do. I want to build up that speed like that. But then, like, it turns into a lackluster roll. Boss fight? Okay, okay, fuck me! <laughs> fuck. <laughs> God damn it. I'm like, alright, where's the boss? Where's the boss? There he is! Okay, fuck. No, I need a ring! I need a ring! Okay, what the f Okay, Jesus! As long as I keep collecting my rings, but okay, that worked out. He can't, he kind of ran into me, but now I'll take it. Do I get to free the animals? Free the animals! Free the animals! Woo! What the hell are these things even? Those are birds, I can see what those are. Is that like a little monkey? A little purple monkey? I don't know what the hell those are. That's actually a good point, uh, Kickass, huh? Like, you actually see them, like, I guess, throughout the game, as opposed to, like, only at the very end. I, like, that doesn't really get me much more distance, I guess. Oh fuck, I thought I could just bounce on it. Apparently not! That really sucks when you lose all your rings. When you have like a high-ass ring count, and you hit and it just all fucking explodes out, man. Oh, I thought that that would just like let me plow through stuff. Apparently not, not at least in that form. I'm gonna fall. Oh my god, I should have landed on those spikes. Oh! What the fuck? Why is it super fast? Why is everything faster? Why is even the, even the music faster? What the fuck? What did I do? Did I do anything? I think the game's lost its mind. Was it just the fuck? Was it just the emulator freaking out? I have no idea what, what that was. Oh, okay. Fuck, I meant to I meant to start rolling. I also wanna like I wanna press like what would be B to attack? That well, I guess that does that. Maybe I can use that to attack. Oh, okay. Wow, well, I, I fucked that up. All right, good. If I can get dizzy in here. Yeah, everything was like speeding up, Captain. And I don't, I don't, I don't understand what the fuck that was. I don't know if that was just the emulator freaking out, or if that was something like I picked up in the stage. You picked up Sonic's... Okay, okay, I did pick up something, Sonic shoes, then. I thought maybe I did, but like, I wasn't sure. Fuck. Can I pick these little things up? No, I just free them, huh? Because in, uh, I know like in Sonic Adventure, like, you'd actually like, pick them up and they'd like, follow you you bring them to the end, and you bring them to your little chow garden. Oh man, the classic music. So this is like the star, man. This I can actually use to plow through. Oh, here we go again. Oh god. Oh god, fuck. <laughs> I mean, getting the shoes is all nice, but like, I feel like I'm not going anywhere far and fast enough to make good use of them. I 
I can't get like a momentum up at the tiniest little incline. God damn it, my rings. Whatever. Oh, well, I messed that up. Oh my god, it's just faster than the- It's- Oh, fuck! It's faster than the human eye can follow. Oh my god- Wow, they tried to get dirty with me there. Dude, the levels are so crazy because you can go up, down, left, right. Like, well, I mean, you're progressing to the right, but, like, it accounts for if you fall. Like, there's always, like, another path to go. I also missed getting the, uh... The shield thing there. Uh, so where do I go here? Okay, wow, you just fall straight through. <laughs> if the game's not having the seizure, I'm gonna have the seizure. Yeah, for some people, honestly, some of their fav- For some people, their favorite thing of Sonic isn't the Sonic part, it's the Chow Garden. Like, messing around with that stuff, which, hey, fuck. In Sonic Adventure, I spend a shit ton of time doing that stuff too, so I'm like, I'm, I'm guilty of the same thing. I don't know if it was necessarily my favorite part, but I mean, hell yeah, I spent the time with that. Raising up my chow, trying to get him better, even though he sucked. The stats were garbage, and- oh, okay. Fuck, I'm down to my only ring now. Fuck, it's gonna fly off screen. Oh, no, I saved it. As long as you have a ring you can keep picking back up, like, you're okay. It's when you lose all the rings and you can't pick up any and they're all they're all gone, that's when you're in trouble. <laughs> Alright, Captain N, you get that dinner ready. You get that dinner. I ate mine a little bit before the stream, so I wouldn't be hungry during mine. Oh man! Now, this is my jam. Well, I say it's, it, it is, it's, it's a pinball game, but I'm not good at them. Well, okay, I say, I say that. I'm more so specific of, of, uh, Pinbot. Jesus, alright, I, I don't like all these spikes all over the place here. Whoa! Oh, is that spell Sega? It's gonna spell Sega, doesn't it? Sega! Uh, we'll never know now. Oh, okay. Uh, go that way? What the f- I was just- Fuck! I was being fucked! That's what I was being- It's like I was being held in limbo. Shit. I want the balloon. Ow, fuck! I don't know- I don't know what's going on. This stage is too crazy. I'm just holding down and staying in, in ball form and just kind of hoping it works out. <laughs> it's pretty good so far, in general. Shit, oh boy. Oh, wow, I landed on that. Oh shit, oh, I'm about to jump right into the spikes. Yeah, the level, the, honestly, the level design is like, it's, it's crazy how, like, Jesus, how sprawling it is. Fuck! I didn't mean to hit that. Jump over it. <laughs> like, if you looked up a map and actually, like, looked at, Jesus, an actual map of the stages, it's gotta look insane. Alright, dude. You need to get out of my- fuck. You need to get out of my way. Okay, cannot attack him like that. That doesn't work. That does, though. <laughs> get good or get fucked. I'm probably gonna get fucked before I get good. is very fitting for this. It very does feel like a... I mean, it's casino themed like 
this is kind of like, like, yeah, you know, it, it makes me think of, you know, other, you know, like, uh, like Vegas Stakes or whatever. Actually, maybe it's, maybe it only makes me think of Vegas Stakes. What other casino games have I played that has this kind of thing? Like, they definitely got the music right with it. Where am I trying to get to? I assume up, but fuck! Fuck! Oh, we're going all the way down. <laughs> fuck. Need to hit that. Hit that that doesn't do me any good though. Oh, just get up. Oh my god, look at that, how slow he gets up the hill like that. No! I really didn't mean to do that. God damn it. Get up. I need to I need to use these springs. Or these uh these flippers. Okay, there we go. That's that's no <laughs> Jesus. I'm trying to go up. I want to go up more. I assume I want to go up more. Oh, there we go. Sega. I feel like Sega always does that with stuff like this. They always gotta in interject. Fuck. Their logo or lo logo or whatever in there. Oh God, grab that. All right, check. If I find a checkpoint, that means I'm progressing. It means I'm doing something right. Yeah, there I was. I'm facing the wrong fucking way. Oh my God. It feels. I feel like all paths eventually will lead to the exit. So I'll just let it keep taking me wherever. I. I must be getting there at some point. Get. Hell. It feels like it just goes on forever. Where am I? Okay, well, there's the bottom. Oh, Jesus. Oh, there's a checkpoint there. I want that first. This is take me to the Chaos Emeralds. Can I Chaos Control in this game? Was that a thing yet? When did Chaos Control become a thing? Oh, my God. Exit? Exit? Boss fight? Okay, I'll take it. Oh, that's, uh, I assume hitting the other one will, like, blow up on me. Oh, no, oh, no, no, it just plows through me. That's all it does. I, I didn't want to get stuck on you. Shoot. I need to get, like, at least another ring. Shit. Okay, you know what? Just, I'm just going to wait here. Look, this won't work. There we go. Jesus. There. God, that stage was nuts. Sonic Adventure 2, Shadow did it. Yeah, well, I mean, eventually then everyone eventually be able, was able to do Chaos Control crap. <laughs> Alright, well, I just, straight, I just straight up fell. And now I'm stuck in the snow. Wow, I can't move well in the snow at all. Oh god, I'm underwater. I know what happens when you're underwater for too long in a Sonic game. You get that dreaded music. Or at least in in one of the Sonics, some of the Sonics you do. Fuck, I did I meant to attack, I meant to spin attack into it. Jet. Oh no! There it is! Get me out of the water! No! No 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 no! Bounce me out! Bounce me out of the water! All the way out of the water! No, there was an air bubble! Ugh, fuck! <laughs> fuck. Ah, being in the water sucks. I knew it was coming. And then I, rem I, I remembered a split second too late that there are air bubbles that you can grab. I assume that's what that was uh, pumping out of that spot right there, and I missed the actual air bubble itself. Shit, alright, well... 
I'm gonna tr avoid being down there as best I can. Speed up. There we go. Oh, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Shit. Oh, uh, why am I going in the water anyways? Oh, you bastard. Hit, hit the bumper. Oh, we barely made that. All right, look for air. Look for air. There's an air bubble. No, I want the air bubble, you son of a bitch. Shit, I'm fucked. I'm fucked. Where's there an air bubble? There's an air bubble thing. Air bubble thing. Air bubble thing. Oh, oh. Oof. Oof. Why are there missiles just coming out of the walls? Can I refill up on air again? Okay, okay. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't think I could have cut that any closer. Being in the water sucks. It's slow and it sucks. Shit. Yes, get me out of the water, please. Yeah, it's like the spin-off to Saved by the Bell, it's Saved by the Bubble. Cause I knew I knew I was not gonna reach back up to the uh, surface fast enough. I knew I had to find a bubble somewhere. Oh fuck! Did that? Po oh, that did pop up out of the ground. Fucking hell! Shit! I need a ring. I need a ring. Just get over it, you prick! Thank you. Nipples the echidna. Now is that just someone's fan made thing, or was that a is that is that canon? Is that shit canon? Not in my Sonic game. Alright, where am I going? Where am I? Uh, besides going on to the spikes, where am I going? Wait, where am I going? Okay, I'm up here, but like. Oh, I can't go that way. Down to the right? Okay, yep, but hit the checkpoint first. Wasn't, uh, didn't Sonic Mania get, um, get good review scores? Was Sonic Mania good? I can't remember which, which Sonic games are actually good or not. Oh, Enchilada. <laughs> Knuckles, the enchilada! I fucking love enchiladas! Mm. Alright, get... Oh, shit. Oh, wow, wow, really? One pops up? Bastards. Sonic Mania's... I, I, I thought I remembered Sonic uh, Mania getting a good review. Obviously have not played it myself. You know, I'm gonna pause and get air. Anytime I see an air bubble, oh fuck! Well, that was very, uh, very lackluster. I should have grabbed another air bubble. You know what? I'm gonna do just that. Give me some air. Gulp. Fucking goddamn it! Yeah, the water. Being in, being in the water is not good. It's not a good time for Sonic. Not at all. I'm gonna grab another air bubble. I think the only thing I've seen of uh, Black Knight was a. Uh, I think didn't Game Grumps do a playthrough of that? I think I saw like some of the highlights from that. Come to think of it, I think the most exposure I've had to Sonic games in general was probably from Game Crumbs. More than anything, really. Aside from anything that I've ever played myself, which... really was only the first Sonic Adventure game. Alright, I'm gonna get some air. I thought there were a lot of people that didn't like Sonic Unleashed. Isn't that the one where you turn into like a beast? So like where where Sonic or whatever. Yeah. A friend of mine, uh was it a friend of mine who who got me into Game Grumps? Did I find them on my own? 
I think a friend of mine introduced me uh, to them. I think it was right around the time when they, like, maybe with only within the first couple of months of them starting their channel, now that I think about it. Let's go all the way up the mountain. Anywhere that's far away from the water, I'll take it. Fuck. Get, get forward! I, I feel like when you're trying to get up an incline, like, you're, you're, like, look at your movement speed. It's like, it just... You're just like, oh, I just... And you try to jump, and it pushes against you the other way. All right, what the fuck? Oh, okay, it just plows through. Like, if you've got momentum, you're good. Oh, okay, that's weird. That's weird looking. Oh, don't make me fight a boss in the water. No, don't make me fight shit in the water, man! Yeah, they have great chemistry. They're, they're really funny. And also, I, I always liked, um... Aaron, uh, even before, because they knew him from his, uh, Eagle Raptor stuff. Alright, where's the- where's air? I just- I just gotta jump on the thing to get air. Okay. Well, that's good to know. I just gotta time my jumps. Oh, and just spam attacks. I gotta wait for the next, the next good spike. Come on, spike. Okay, you fell way too fast for me to react at all. I need air. Not gonna get it. Gonna suffocate. Fuck. Well, fuck my ass. They- Look at how fast it falls. By the time I can jump up and land on it, like, I can't, uh... I can't fucking, like, use it. Yeah, there should have been, like, occasional air bubbles or something. Like, I can't effectively jump up there. I was having no problems at first, but then just, like, I couldn't get up back up again. Like, I can't jump underneath... Oh, fuck. Like, I can't jump up underneath through it. Okay, great. I just lost all my rings. And look at that. I'm already gonna suffocate. Like, there, those... See, these are moving slow for some reason. Those other ones were moving, like, way too fast. Because I jumped so slow in the water, look at that. How do I... I guess I just have to time my jump better? Okay, fuck, I need the ring. Maybe I'm just not timing my jump well enough. I'm jumping too soon. I gotta get good at landing, like, right... See, look at that. I, I don't have time to use it. I guess I just gotta get good with that, yeah. Some of them seem to be slower, too, for whatever reason. Some of them are easier to use. Oh, oh, wow, okay, it put me up on top of it, even though I really didn't get it in time. Which, uh, what was Sonic Rush for? Was that console or handheld? Also, I'm gonna need air. I need air. Does that count as getting air? I don't think it does. I don't think it does. I lost my ring. Go fuck yourself. Oh. Oh, wow. Thank God that the, he doesn't take that many hits. You know, now that I think of it... Ow! All right. Calm down. <laughs> sure, at least that didn't kill me. Um, do I own Sonic Rush for the DS? Or was I just borrowing that from a friend? Like my nephew. Maybe I own that. I have to look back at my DS games. I think I might actually own that and like have completely forgotten about it. Fuck. Yeah, I barely, I, I barely fucking got him. If that thing killed me and I had to fight the boss again, I would have been like, fuck this. <laughs> oh, wow, really? That doesn't work for hitting him? You kidding me? I must have mistimed it. Oh, it's a little like lion. No, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna ride this. There we go.
Okay, all oh, right. Well, that wasn't a smart idea. Oh, no. Okay, well, we're down here now. I don't know. What is this doing? Moving something. Or maybe I just use that to progress. It's egging me on. It's real embarrassing when you get caught with egg in my face. Oh, that was very... That was a very lackluster bounce. Let's try that again. That was again very lackluster because I went into it with no speed. Fuck! Alright, hold on, hold on. We need to use this with real speed here. I don't know what I'm doing wrong with this. Oh, wow, really? Let's try to finish out this stage. <laughs> oh, it's moving up and down. I didn't notice that. Yeah, well, you, it pretty much like the animals themselves killed me. <laughs> Thank you for rescuing us. Bam. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry. Also, I'm having trouble getting up this damn thing. Air. <laughs> we'll try to finish up this level. At least I don't have to try to, like, balance. It does just hold me in place. Oh god, okay, except for I can't- I can't be too underneath that one. Alright, turn around, Sonic! Thank you. Oh god, please- please don't fall. No, I'm gonna wait right here. Oh my god! F fuck. Oh man, we're sand walking. Can I suffocate in the sand? That was very lackluster. Let me actually use the dash. <laughs> Break that? I don't even know. Fuck! I, I, I got licked! Oh, I'm back here, you prick. Yeah, doing just that alone is not enough to get up this damn thing. Come on. I have to, like, fully stop moving before I can do the, the, the charge-up version. It's... <laughs> Star. They, uh, the, the, the Phoenix Wright games are amazing. I own, like, all the old main ones on the DS. They were fantastic games. Alright, well, that's... That's not gonna get me... Oh, God. Hyper Shoes. I'm already having enough trouble just making it up the damn thing without... Just keep pressing forward to the right and hope we get somewhere. Come on, where's the end of the stage? Oh, well, there goes my ride. It's gone. Left without me. Oh, well, there's a checkpoint. Oh, Jesus. Laser drill my ass! Oh, there we go. Why have a checkpoint if the, if, if the, the finish is so close? Well, that went about as well as I expected. Like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm not great at Sonic games. And honestly, the controls are a little weird with dashing the way it is in this one, where you're, like, where you're holding down and rolling the ball form. I don't know if how, how the other ones were, but... Uh, whatever. It's a fun game, though. That, that, I feel like that is a pretty good um, translation of Sonic onto the, onto the GBA. Um, I don't know how well it would have done if it was on a Game Boy. I felt like the, I feel like the screen wouldn't be big enough and the graphics wouldn't be good enough. Like, GBA can handle it better, for sure. It's a fun game. It, it feels like Sonic. I'm just, uh, I'm just not very good at it. But that's okay. I'm not supposed to be great at the games I'm playing here, necessarily. <laughs> uh... 
So let's go ahead and switch to the final game for tonight. So switching. All right. We'll make you a Sonic fan. I do like Sonic. I just don't really play the games that much, um, and I'm not really good at them. But, like, I like Sonic as a character, and I know he's got a lot of fun games. But just, again, not owning a Sega was a big reason why I never got to really play any of them or experience them, really. Uh, the last one for tonight is Klonoa Empire of Dreams, suggested by Daniel Rotwind. One of us, one of us, join us, join us, join us. All right, let's make sure, let's make sure that's there. Now this is a series, Wahoo! Klonoa, I always knew of it. No idea how the game actually like was, like how it played. It just I recognized the name, I recognized the character. I know he got like a couple of games, and then I think he disappeared. I don't think um I feel like it was an uh an IP that didn't ever really get to like fully take off, or like you know it, it's not like other characters, right? Like Sonic or anything else that came along, you know, Crash Bandicoot. I think like back in that kind of era, you know, Spyro the Dragon. You had all these all these game characters and mascots that like came and went some stuck some didn't i felt like this was one that they tried to 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 put out there and he had a couple of games and then i felt like it disappeared maybe i'm wrong but just i don't remember there being that many games for this um i couldn't tell you if there's even any modern day ones now oh well, let's make sure not to get the timer let's go ahead and start the time sure where did i come from where the blue winds blow. Where am I going? Nobody knows where the white clouds flow. So if I dream, I'm sure to wake. Come to my castle, Mario. I've baked you a cake. Home invasion! Hey, what the? No! <laughs> yeah, pretty much Star, exactly. Like, everyone was just trying to capitalize on that because game mascots were huge back then. Everyone was trying to find the next, you know, the next new one. You know, what was to be the next big mascot? Some got popular, plenty of other ones came and went. So you're the stranger who dares to dream in my empire. Stranger? Where am I? Bagu! <laughs> This is the Empire of Julius, where dreams are forbidden. After all, dreams won't put food on the table. If you have time to spare, you should play, work, or fall in love. Okay, yeah, you should go play, work, or just, just go fall in love. You know, dreams are of no use. No! <laughs> That's not true! <laughs> Why is this so wrong to dream? Very dramatic. Humph! You dare defy me? Insolent boy! The Emperor suffers from insomnia, and you dare speak such nonsense? Oh, that's why. He can't dream, so no one's allowed to. You shall pay for your insolence! Boy! Wait, let us test his metal. His metal? There are four monsters terrorizing the land. Our gracious emperor shall pardon you if you get rid of them all. 
However, you will soon realize your folly. <laughs> or I could just be like, you know, fuck, fuck the king. Hoo pow! Looks like we're in trouble now. Where is this place? Let's take a look around. Maybe we'll find a clue. Wasn't I just sleeping in my own house? You're like, no sleeping, motherfucker. It's like, one, how'd you know I'm sleeping? And two, get out of my house. All right, let's go. You guys talking about Bubsy in the ch I mean, um, I said the name, my bad. He who shall not be named. Gaza land. I'm sure we'll eventually get to gameplay, I promise. Um, excuse me, butt. Wow, just get whomped on! <laughs> hey, what was that for? Don't you wimps know anything? Here in Gaza land, only strength is respected. So get on my level. Ouch, that hurt! If you love fighting so much, why don't you fight the monster? Wow, alright, we're getting double teamed now, that's not fair. Well, not even our town champion was a match for that beast. So whoever defeats the monster becomes the new champion? Huh? But it's not that easy. And it might hurt, you know. Oh, jeez. So where is this monster? It's on top of that mountain. Of course it is. Oh, he's just down the road. Like, no, he's on top of the mountain, of course. Let's go check it out. Hey, wait, you don't stand a chance. You little shit. <laughs> Let's begin. Collect the star and head towards the exit. Stand before a sign. Press up on the control pad. Wahoo! <laughs> Now, from what I was testing around, I know that, and I, re I re recognize this, I always thought this was a weird mechanic. Um, you pick up enemies, and you can either throw them, or, like, jump with them. So I can, like, press... You get, like, one double jump, and you can kind of float, and that's, like, about it. L and R... L does nothing, R is the same thing as B. Uh, button configuration, and it's just jump and shoot. So what kind of creature? Uh, do we know? Oh, okay, they just, they just explode out of existence. So from what I, from what I can figure, most of the game is going to be kind of played around the fact that you've got to use the enemies to get, like, this extra jump to be able to reach stuff. I think I can- I can only hold one enemy at a time. Let's see them for stuff like this. There we go. Okay, so, and those are the things I'm trying to get to, and I guess... I'm gonna guess that, uh... Fuck. I'm guessing the 15 out of 30 gems... Probably for unlocking stuff or whatever. Probably not necessary to clear the stage, but... You'd want to get them all for the purposes of 100%ing. Clawing back bar. <laughs> yeah, I know. They were right. They were taking cheap shots at me. Like, I don't think. You got okay, I can float for a little bit, but like, and then that's it. What am I doing here? I can run at the screen or away from the screen, but it doesn't do anything. Fuck, I I meant to jump there. Did not jump. Alright, we got all the... Uh, oh, Jesus. The float is very short, too. God, I haven't had a Klondike bar in forever. We used to get those all the time. We'd always have it, uh, the downstairs freezer back at our old little house. We'd always have Klondike bars there should get some. Hey, honestly, it kind of, like, it has that kind of feel, right? To, like, a, how, like, a Kirby game, it, that, that feel, the, the, the pacing, the enemies, that's the kind of feel that I get from this game. It's not like a, it's not a fast-paced, crazy game. It's not Sonic. It's a slower, more methodical, uh, platformer. Oh, let's read the sign here. Bo uh, boxes come handy, clone can climb on or throw them. They can be used over and over. Oh, okay. Oh, 
Okay, th just standing on it isn't nearly as much height as actually, like, bouncing with it. Oh, here we go. Even the scenery? Uh, with the way the art for the for the backgrounds are drawn and everything, maybe. If you just a comparison screenshots, you probably think they could be, like, the same kind of game. Or, like, in the same game. Choco Taco. Choco Taco? It's a Choco Taco. Oh, I gotta use that and then the enemy. There we go. I've never heard of a Choco Taco. Is that like an actual, like, brand? Is it like the name of an actual brand? Oh, there's no way to make it. Oh, that's the exit anyways. Oh, fuck. Well, shit. Hold up. I need a thing. Taco-shaped ice cream. Well, like, I, I've never heard of, like, Choco Taco. Like, I don't know if that was, like, a specific, like, name brand of one. Like, uh, a Klondike bar, to me, feels like it's like an ice cream sandwich, right? But that's, like, the generic term of, like, you know, there's different kinds of, like, ice cream sandwiches. But Klondike bar is, like, a specific brand of one. So Choco Taco, I don't know if that was, like, a brand of some sort. As opposed to just a, a chocolate taco ice cream. They're kind of nasty. <laughs> I couldn't tell you the last time I was actually in a Baskin Robbins. We used to have one, um, <laughs> five minutes away, um, from our house. It was a combo, uh, Taco Bell. It was half Taco Bell, half Baskin Robbins. But that was years and years ago, and that's long gone now. Each door has a key with a matching shape. Yeah, okay. Uh, what was down here? Nothing. Okay, it is a brand. <laughs> oh, I, I'm just like barely not enough to make. Double rainbow. Did that place get very popular after the whole double rainbow meme was a thing? Also, it was just like within the last like month or two or something, the the double rainbow guy passed away. I'm sad to hear. It's like, oh, that sucks. Did I get everything down here? Uh, do any combo fat food places still exist? Maybe? I'm trying to think of any in my area. Not that I can think of. Uh, let's see, throw that there. Uh, there we go. Never even had a McDonald's. You're not living if you haven't had McDonald's. A Taco Bell Pizza Hut? See, for me, like, the Taco Bell and then, um, Baskin Robbins thing kind of, like, made sense. Because, like, okay, you could have, like, you know, your fast food. And then you could have, like, the, the Baskin Robbins for dessert. Actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, there is a combo place, uh, a town or two over from where I am. 
That's a uh, combination Carl's Jr. and Green Burrito, which I've never seen a Green Burrito restaurant anywhere besides there. I can't make it without the jump. Taco Bell KFC. All right, we got everything. Unless you're a vegetarian, you wouldn't. Yeah. You know what was a, it became a whole thing after a while was you saw fast food restaurants all of a sudden started carrying things like salads and all these other options for people who didn't want to eat like fast food stuff. Now this is just my own personal opinion. While it's nothing wrong with um, I'm taking a take a break from the puzzle to go for fun board ride. Keep an eye out for signs. Oh great. Um. Oh boy. Um, I mean, having, fuck, having more options, you know, is fine. Like, obviously, if I don't want the salad stuff, like, I don't have to have it. But to me, it, I almost just felt like it didn't, it didn't make sense to me to go to a McDonald's for a salad. Like, if I want a salad, I'd go somewhere else. Otherwise, I, I'm going to McDonald's because I want to eat a fucking burger or nuggets or something, you know? I don't know. Like, I get Especially now with people being more conscious in general about their food and watching calories and stuff. I get it. I think it's just it really like jarred me at first shit. When that when that was first happening. How do I how do I get through that guy without taking damage? Also, I'm missing way too many of these. Wow, I missed a lot of them. <laughs> Gooby please, boil! Take a break from playing. There are some games that do that, though. Like, in between, like, in the transitions, it's like, Hey, maybe you should take a break from playing. And you're like, No, you're not telling me what to do. I'm gonna keep playing. You can't stop me. Come, come here. <laughs> can I climb this? Yes, I can. Oh, the exit's right here. I mean, I don't know. I, I guess at the end of the day, I mean, again, it's like, it... It doesn't hurt to have them there. It's just, I personally... I'm not going to McDonald's because I want a salad. I'm going to McDonald's because I want to stuff a Big Mac in my mouth. You know? Uh, let's see. I'm gonna need both of these. How can I? I need to carry. Oh, wait. Isn't there an enemy back here? I can grab him. Oh, that's kind of cool. The guy gets all squished. Oh shit, I accidentally threw him! Fuck! Give me that. Uh, let's... I'm not gonna be able to make it like that, huh? I should've gotten the gem first, I gotta go that way anyways. Oh, man. Oh, God. Um, I'm trying to think, Captain, and if there is any kind of game like that that locks you out. Games on, like, Facebook that have, like, uh, timers, you know, and you, you can, like, spend real money to get more energy to keep playing. Those don't necessarily count. That's a different kind of restricting you. But I'm, I'm trying to think if there's any game that's ever been like that where it doesn't let you play after so long. I don't think there is, but, yeah, that would suck. If they, like, if they force you to do that and they enforce it like that. Those red things are are goomies. Klonoa uh, can grab a hold of them with a wind bullet. Oh, okay, I can swing on them. I can't really, like, swing off of them, though. Okay. <laughs> Why 
What's go what's Goofy's trial? Do I do I wanna ask what Goofy's trial is? Or am I better off not knowing? Ah, you moved. Oh, I'm gonna need. I'm missing out. Am I? Am I really missing out? I may take a hit, but oh no, I got it. I gotta look it up later. I <laughs> remind me. I'm trying to think. I don't think I've ever heard of, uh, Goofy's Trial. Oh, God. YouTube contains... <laughs> is it like some, like, is it like... I, I don't know why when I when I hear Goofy's Trial, it just makes me think of, like, something like a, like a creepypasta-based ga uh, based game. You know, like Sonic.exe. You know, Goofy's Trial. stars, but we're missing three gems. It's a meme? Okay. It's a little safer then. <laughs> I'm surprised if it's a meme that I haven't uh, heard of it before. Oh, I need that. I mean, I don't know every meme out there, but, you know, I know, I know a good, good, good amount of them. Goofy's trial on Spotify? What the hell? There's a creepy pasta. The you wish the creepy pasta version of NES Godzilla existed? Is there such a thing? Be careful! If Klonoa falls behind or falls down, he will lose a life. Hurry, but don't be careless. <laughs> you're telling me that six levels in? Thanks. Oh, okay. This is why you're telling me. It's an auto-scrolling. That makes a little more sense than why you're telling me now. Okay, oh boy. I gotta get all- I gotta get everything- Nope, that's an extra, like, life for continue and I don't care. I want all the gems, though. Come here, you! Now I need you to come back. Oh god! Oh god! <sighs> oh god! I'm just I'm going as I'm going as fast as I can. Okay. Whew. Oh, please make the jump! Whoa, my! God. I almost didn't make that. Since I gotta keep on the move, I'm gonna look at the chat after. Oh my god, why you gotta make it so close? At least I can grab them, like, through the portal before they're even, like, there. This is pretty fluid, using those things. It's actually very nice. It actually handles very well. You snap to it and, like, can move very quickly. It's very intuitive. Am I gonna miss anything down there? No? Good. Oh, shit! Ah! 
Wing you! What the hell was that? <laughs> oh shit! Ugh. Seven. I don't think I've missed one yet. Get get up there, asshole. There's the last gems. Yes! We did it! Woo! Where the hell am I going? Oh, I'm gonna get shot off somewhere. Nice! We did it in one try. <laughs> When he makes those grunts, he picks up and says, <laughs> When you- I, I, it sounds like wahoo! Wahoo! <laughs> oh, he's- oh, I thought when he dies. When you! <laughs> Fuck you! As he falls into a hole. <laughs> Alright, I think we can maybe clear out the first world here. Before I run out of time. Maybe. We'll see here. Uh, I need at least another thing to get me up there. Oh, I can bring this guy. Uh, can I? Yeah, I can make this. Ah, fuck! I need another thing! Shit. I need, like, another block, then, I guess. Or maybe I come from the top with another block. Give, give the finger as he's falling. <laughs> Why'd you let me die? As he flips you off. Enough. Shit, I can't reach that. Can I reach that at all if I do this? Uh, nope. Maybe, oh, maybe I can. It's real close. It's real close! It's, that's too far. I can just, oh, I can just get this guy. It's kind of nice that when they, uh, when they're still, like, in, like, they're spawning in, you can still, like, just grab at the portal and it just, it just snags them. You don't have to wait. Shit. I mean, I, I think it's, it's a decent, like, platformer thing. And you, like... Why am I hurting myself? I don't understand why that was happening. But I definitely think it's not like it's it's not anything like crazy, but it's a fun little uh platformer. Oh, is this can I bring this down? Can I bring this down with me? Can I, like, throw it down there? <sighs> no, probably not. Yeah, I mean, the whole the whole gimmick and mechanic of the way he, like, uses the enemies to get, like, an extra jump and all that, it's, it's nothing revolutionary for sure. By no means, I don't think that uh, the game is bad. And it's pretty chill. 
It's definitely not breaking any ground here. And then... Yay! Nice. The level design is kind of nice like that, though. It, it is. It, it does just kind of like flow together. All right, we got two and a half minutes. Uh, let's beat this boss, and then that'll be it. Looks like some kind of arena. So where is this monster? <clears throat> so you're next, huh? You can be some big hulking motherfuckers. You can be some tiny little thing. Okay, yeah, he, he's big. He's got he's got big and he's got big balls. Scrawny, aren't you? <laughs> this ain't this 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 ain't. This won't take long. Wow, he looks strong. We have a chance unless we attack him from the Ooh, attack him from the rear. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, that's a good point to start. The character is definitely uh um um Jesus. He's definitely got his own look, but the gameplay itself like it's nothing it's nothing crazy, right? It's a, it's it's fun gameplay. But it's nothing revolutionary. I, fuck. Throw it in his ass! That's a weird sound to use for, for hitting him. Oh god, okay, that animation is a little weird. I don't know why it makes that kind of sound. To me, that, that's not a fitting sound at all. Standard three hits? Standard three hit rule? Yeah, three hit rule, bitch. Everything takes three hits to kill. Wow, that's a really easy boss. I know it's only the first boss, but... Oh, God. The world is warping. What the hell? Chipple? What? What happened? Don't you remember? Um, I had a strange dream. I was really strong and champion of the world. But then a red mist appeared. And then I got really high. A red mist? Oh well. I guess that's why we shouldn't dream. That's your, that's your takeaway? Well, I shouldn't dream or a red mist is gonna come and fuck me over. Priamil! Well, we got 20 seconds left. We'll just let it sit on the map. Actually, I'm gonna make a save state. Just cause... This game has a save... It has save data anyway. Uh, data anyways, but... Make a save state, anyways. Thought he had chain chomps on his head. Yeah, he should take him and just like, R, R, R. Of course, that's the wrong franchise. And the 30 minutes are up. You may look at the booty, but no touching. Something like the Red Mist. Wasn't that, wasn't that a movie? The Mist? Isn't that what it was called? Never saw it. Actually, saw it. Um, some horror movie or, or, or whatever, right? Or was it like a an apocalyptic type of movie? That shows I don't, I don't, I never actually watched it. Oh yeah, <laughs> you got the head gear on like Last Joe would. Fucking punch out. I overall, it's a decent game. I think it's a fun little game. It's a fun little like a uh, puzzle platformer. Nothing crazy. It's uh, it's not fast paced though. It's a, it's a, it's a, a much more chill game. Um, I mean, I was having fun with it, but, uh, nothing, it's nothing too crazy. It did have a little bit of variety, um, with, uh, the, like, the snowboarding part, but, uh, otherwise, like, the, the mechanics, there aren't, like, too many things. Well, I guess they added, and you can grab the things and jump. Maybe some of the other worlds add in more mechanics and more things to interact with than I saw here. It was only the first world, after all, but, uh, I don't think it's a bad game. I mean, I also kind of, I also like... I like puzzle type games and I like platformers. So like puzzle platformers like this and you're trying to collect all the gems. I, it is kind of my game. Um, it was one of the reasons why I think I never finished Spyro because I was obsessed with trying to collect like all the gems or whatever from like every level in the world and all that. And I just, I never uh, finished it because of that because I was trying too hard to collect everything. But some games I like to do that. This would be one that I would want to do that in. Like I would actually go back and try to do like the snowboarding stage and get all the gems again. Yeah. So, I, I mean, right, and that, that's also a way to put it, too, is, like, as a Game Boy game, that's pretty good, right? Like, this is something you can play a couple of levels when, you know, you're riding in the car, play a level or two, you get to your destination, you can save and turn the game off. So, it, it's a good uh, Game Boy game for sure, I think. It's a good way to pass time. 
and yeah, and the graphics are nice. It's a, it does look nice. GBA had that advantage though. Things look uh, so much better on the GBA than the Game Boy. There was some great stuff on Game Boy, but GBA just has a little bit of a bigger resolution, and then the the, the details, um, the colors. It it allowed it so much more than the Game Boy had to to look this way. Yeah, for me, certain games, I'll 100%. Other ones, I don't care. This is like the kind of game where I'd want 100% it. Crash Bandicoot, I wanted to 100% it. I had to get all the gems. I just, you know, it was my the kind of thing that I'd have to do in those kind of games. So, this kind of game would be up my alley in that sense. Um, yeah. Anyways, I'll go ahead and pause the music there. Uh, so, that's it, guys. Um, we finished uh, the first of the three Game Boy Advance games, so... Next week will be week 15. We'll move back to Game Boy slash Game Boy Color. Um, and then we'll keep going from there. And for those of you uh, watching this, if they, when it goes up on fr uh, Friday, tomorrow, or for anyone just uh, else, um, just as a reminder, uh, I will be playing um, a version, the Steam version, uh, this Saturday at 1 o'clock Pacific. Um, and I mentioned in the video that I put up, it's just going to be kind of a chill hangout stream, um, since I've played the game before, but like, I just kind of want to see what the little difference is between the, the original and the Steam version, and it's been, you know, years since I played the original, and I kind of just want to play through again, and, uh, and get the achievements too, if, I, I feel like it's a game that, uh, should be fairly easy to 100%, so, I like getting Steam achievements, um, for certain games, so, that should work out pretty well. Uh, GBA had a stronger processor than SNES. Um, maybe? I'm trying to think. Um, because at least, like, uh, there were games like, like, uh, Mega Man and Base, um, was originally on, what was it on? It was originally a Super Nintendo game, uh, Rock, Rockman and Forte, and then it got ported over, when it came over to the US, they ported it, uh, as a GBA game. Um, which I which I do own. It was the same game, and it looked just like it did on the Super Nintendo. So at the very least, I feel like that they were um, equivalent, maybe in terms of power. C stronger processor, certainly possible, considering it came after the Super Nintendo. Um, but yeah. Mario 64, Donkey Kong 64. We had Mario 64, never had Donkey Kong 64. A buddy of mine did. He played both that and the the Banjo Kazooie games. Um, we never owned any of those. Um, I only got to play Mario 64. Yeah, a version. We'll be we'll be playing that. You gonna rewatch the LP? I thought about look. I I looked back just at my first video just to kind of look back at what it looked like. Um, just kind of for, for a comparison. And the first world, like I, you can't really spoil much for the first world. It's I mean, that first video was four minutes, including intro and talking and stuff. So it's like, um, but I didn't want to look look back too much because I do remember parts of a version, but not everything. So I kind of like didn't want to like, uh, I didn't want to look through the whole thing again. I kind of want to relive it as I play it um, for sure. I was going to say, Herm Herming Living Good, uh, uh, that, yeah, that was, that was Enclosure. Enclosure, again, is something that I may go back and kind of, like, play through again, um, for kicks. That's a much longer thing, though. I want to say my Enclosure, the total length of, like, all the videos is, like, maybe four and a half hours or something like that total. Much, much longer than Aversion. Aversion, I should be able to do in, in, in a single sitting. Enclosure would be, like, a multiple session one, if that. Because also, those Enclosure videos had editing done, where I cut out bits of getting lost and all that. Um, I don't know. But then again, I would also have a somewhat better idea of what my goal is and where I'm trying to go for things. So maybe I wouldn't get as lost. So maybe it would balance out. I don't know. Just as a thought. No promises that I'll actually do it again. But I don't know. I think it'd be kind of fun to relive that game because it was, it, was it was pretty cool. You still watch the old LP from time to time? <laughs> well see and that's why like the I, I do feel like this stream is gonna be kind of just why it's more of a chill and kind of hang out and kind of like relive the game but it won't be the same experience because now I know like the game because before I went into it like I just knew that like stuff gets weird but I didn't know to what extent so I was very surprised uh, and, and shocked and you know spooked by the things that happened in the uh, original LP with this, it, I won't, like, have as much of that since I do know what the game does ultimately turn into. But um, I think it'll still be kind of fun to relive it. 
Remember level 7 of reversion? See, no, I don't. I really don't. And I don't want to look back and see, like, all... It'll probably come back to me as I start doing some of the levels again. But, uh, I, I don't fully remember the, the later part of the game. I really don't. I mean, I, I can picture, like, what the levels start to look like. The color scheme and everything. Uh, how much darker it gets. But, like, I don't remember the actual, like, layouts and the puzzles or anything like that. Or even necessarily all the enemies. Um, so... Again, I'll, I'll get to kind of relive that this Saturday. See, and Kick-Ass, and you say that, and that's kind of like what the point of this is. I could play a new game, um, and th there's nothing wrong with that. And like, this is cool. I get to play new games for 30 minutes and all that. But there's something about going back and playing something that I'm familiar with that is, I don't know, it's, it's, it's comforting. It's not, like, just nostalgia, but just, like, something that just, I don't know, like, it's like when you go back and you watch old videos. You've watched it how many times, but for some reason, it's still fun to watch it again. Same for the games. Going back and playing some of these again, it's just kind of like, you know what, this is fun. It's familiar territory. Um, and just because it's familiar doesn't mean it's still not fun to play it. So that's kind of what I'm hoping for this with the version, that uh, it'll still be, like, fun to go back and play and kind of like, oh, yeah, I remember this, and oh, man, yeah, that's right, this gets freaky, you know. So that's why it'll be kind of more of a, a chill and just kind of hang out. Because um, also, this is it's a long weekend. Monday's a, a holiday for the U.S. For, for Labor Day. So I figured, like, you know what, I'll have some extra time this weekend since it's a three-day. So I figured maybe I'll stream something on Saturday. And the other idea I had is going to require more practice and time to prep. So I was like, well, I can't do that this Saturday. I need more time. So I thought, like, you know what? I should probably pick something from all the things that I've been talking about playing again. So I, th I thought a version would be um, would be a, a good fit for that. Mega race again. Now, see, here's the thing, though. I don't want to tread that line. Uh, I have to be careful uh, treading that line where I don't want to replay the same things too many times. I played the original, uh, the Mega Race, the LP from way back when, and then I did play it again um, streaming um, when I was doing the... the 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 what call the 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 GOG version, which was really just the same, but it was the version that I bought from GOG, um, and so I played that again. So like that was fun, but like I wouldn't want to keep doing it too many times. Smash TV is the one. That's one that I have to play with my brother though. I would not play that again solo. That game's nowhere near as fun without a partner, because then you have a partner and someone to compete with. So you're trying to like both rack up score, and you guys know from the original OP, you know how much how competitive we we got with that. Um. Yeah, see, like, it's, it's, and see, I don't know, Captain N, it's like, is it, is it half nostalgia? Is it just reliving those memories, that connection? There's just something about it. It's fun to see and play new stuff, but it's also fun in its own way to go back and watch familiar stuff or play something you've, you've played already. Um, I don't know what it is uh, about it, but, um, at least for certain games, certain games and certain videos and certain movies and all that, like, I love coming back to them. Glitchy ass Kirby Superstar. Yeah, that was. I had to save all those clips of all the of all the glitches and make that outtakes because it was just ridiculous. Corpse party. That's another one that I thought about because like I should try to get like a different ending because I remember that I fucked up at the bathroom part. Maybe I looked it up after the fact or whatever it was. I remember that the bathroom part is where I made a big deviation and fucked up and got some people killed. Um. Games like that are cool too because at least there are multiple paths, right? There's multiple endings. I could I could try to do different things. Um, oh, you know, that was because of the yeah for Kirby that was because of the emulator. But even still, that was that was it was quite a mess. Yeah, I don't I don't recall them because I I've, uh, I I'd played some of that before on the Super Nintendo as well. A friend of mine had it, and uh, I definitely don't recall it happening on the actual console as well. That's oh star. I've been looking up randomizers for quite a th few things. Randomizers are are super popular now, so that is also a great way to relive old games, but with a new twist. Is a randomizer. Um, I mean, you know, my brother and I we did that Mega Man Two race way back when, and it's like, okay, we're gonna do it again, but this time with a randomizer because it adds a new element to it. It makes it fun and interesting again, you know. So yeah, randomizers are all over the place now, and uh, I'm totally all for it. Randomizers um are a lot of fun. Golden Axe. <laughs> we play, uh, we played Golden Axe back in the day for sure. Yeah, believe me, there's a lot of stuff I'd like to be able to do with my brother right now. I'd like to get back to his Nerd Rage series where we go playing through through all the AVGN games. Um, but until this, until we're out of the situation, I can't do that. But you bet. But when we finally can can be in the same room safely, um, we'll get back to doing that for sure. I want to play more stuff with my brother. 
Um, I know there's stuff that I, we could play online and stuff and all that, and that's great. But there's some stuff like that where it wouldn't be the same if we weren't uh, in the same room, you know? So, yeah, I definitely want to do more, uh, more of that stuff for sure. Your fiance, uh, you guys played Golden Axe too. That's really cool when you can play like stuff with your girlfriend, your boyfriend, or your fiance or something like that. You can find someone that like uh, is can be interested in games or at least is willing to play with you on that kind of stuff. It's a lot of fun. Some games were just especially made for 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 two players like that. So when you actually have someone you can share that with, it's it's really cool. <laughs> the game pisses you off, but it still brings us memories. Yeah, That's, you could have a game that pissed you off, and for some reason, you still have that nostalgia or that connection to it just because you played it back then. We could Captain N, but it's like it's for me. Um, I don't want to go too heavily into this, but just it is still technically a risk, and it's just one that I do not want to take given my current living situation. Um, it's just safer if we don't, like you know, and. I'm hoping by sometime next year we'll be able to 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 do that kind of stuff again. Um, so that's just my own personal thing. I I have reasons uh from for my current living situation as to why I'm trying to be as safe as possible. And it's just like even if it's a minimal risk, I want to be able to look back and say that I did everything that I could to minimize the risk everywhere that I could, so that I can say that uh you know I didn't do anything wrong. So that, that, that's most my I want to say about that. But uh, believe me, I'd, I'd love to be able to uh, right now, but can live without that for the next couple of months at least. You know, hopefully into next year we'll get back to some sense of normalcy. Yeah, yeah, we'll eventually get there. We'll eventually get there. We'll be playing stuff together again for sure. Yeah. Yeah, I, I feel you, Captain N. Believe me, I've I've been I've been living like this for the last five and a half months now. At this point, you know, I can do it, but there there is stuff I want to be able to do, you know, outside of this house. So we'll 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 get there eventually. Fingers crossed. And it, and, and I'm on fire. It, that's also like I, I've mentioned this before, and we're not we're not gonna go we're not gonna go too long here, guys. I don't want to I don't want to talk and turn this into another half an hour chat because I do have some other stuff to take care of. But uh, but um, that's also a thing I, I mentioned. Like this, honestly, is one of my favorite parts of the week is coming to this, getting out to hang out with you guys. We kind of just get to forget about everything for a while, right? Play some games, hang out, chat, talk, shoot the shit about whatever, and like for the you know for a good two hour session, the rest of the world just kind of disappears. I can get engrossed in the game. You guys can follow along. It's, I think it's a, it's a good getaway. It's healthy. You know, it's important to pay attention to what's going on with the world, but sometimes you got to detach from it, take a break, you know, take care of yourself, have some fun, laugh, laugh at me being terrible at Sonic or whatever, it, you know, whatever it is. It's important. You know, it, it's a part of taking care of yourself. So it's, it's, it's a good thing. I know it's 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 my final thoughts. My final thoughts, which will take another twenty minutes. <laughs> I don't want to make it like a a regular scheduled thing, you guys. Like again, impromptu kind of like um or organic things like this. You know that that's all right, but I don't want to drag it on for too long. Um, I do want to stick to roughly a, a schedule about it. I mean, we could always, and that's kind of like for like Saturday. Saturday, if you guys come or come along, like we can shoot the shit for however long, fucking whatever. I don't care. That's kind of the whole point of that stream, you know. So I, I'm I'm always all for it. I just want to keep it within reason. It helps me keep it on on, on a good schedule. Yeah, well, I'm I'm glad that you guys come out um, as consistently as you guys do, because I mean. Whether it's making LPs or streaming, half of it is me, and the other half is you guys, you know, the audience. It's not complete until someone is watching and I'm interacting and get to hang out with someone in chat. If no one was here and the chat's just empty, like, I can still have fun playing, but that's not nearly as cool as actually being able to hang out with you guys. So, you know, I get enjoyment out of it. You know, I'm glad that you guys show up and you guys get enjoyment out of it, too. You know, it's a complete thing. It's it's It feeds into itself, you know. I have fun, and then you guys have fun, which then I have fun from that. And it literally just like goes back and forth, you know. So we just have a good time at the uh, at the end of it all. That's what it's all about, you know. We're here to have fun. 
whether I'm making videos on YouTube or, or, or streaming, whatever, you know. Every stream should have my final thoughts. <laughs> well, they, they, they always go on for forever here, but uh, as, as saying that, those will be my final thoughts for tonight. So uh, we, we will end it here. So thanks, guys, um, for coming out tonight. Uh, Captain N, Kick-Ass, I'm on Fire, Karen, uh, Moxie, Sun T, Star. Um, I think my good-for-nothing brother didn't show up today. He's probably playing Hunt the Showdown right now. Yeah, it's fine, whatever. Screw that guy. Screw that guy, right? I didn't forget anyone, right? I got everyone, right? <laughs> Captain N, I'm on fire. Kick-Ass, Karen, Moxie, Sun T, Star. I think that's everyone. I, I keep saying I need to start making a list and keep track. <laughs> Star says, yo! <laughs> Hunt Showdown. Yeah, they're huge into it. I don't play it. I watch them stream it sometimes, but... uh your boyfriend's played that? Yeah, they're they're pretty into it right now. They've kind of abandoned me in Overwatch, and now they play a bunch of hunt and show uh, of a uh, hunt showdown. So, yeah, whatever. I know Kickass is. Uh, look, see, look, I'm I'm talking more, guys. You guys keep dragging me on. Um, it's been nice getting back to 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 doing video and stream stuff. It is it is. I do feel the impact uh, in my free time, but it's not like I don't like doing this. But you know, I do feel it. But it's been fun coming back and doing this stuff kind of regularly again. That's why I wanted to do this weekly stream. It kind of it keeps me on a good schedule. It keeps me active. You know, um, as opposed to only putting out you know a set of videos once every six months or something random like that. Some consistency is kind of nice. Well, I'm I'm glad, Captain Nen, you know, that uh, I could uh, help you out and make you feel a little better, even if it was only for just, you know, the last two hours or so. Kind of forget the world. Have a good time. I'm glad you were able to come by, man. Hopefully, uh, hopefully, uh, tomorrow will be better. You know, that is one thing, you know, it's even as, as bad as a day can be, you know, you can go to sleep, wake up. You know, and it's a chance for, you know, it sounds kind of, it sounds corny like saying this, but it really like it's, it's a chance for it to be another day. Honestly, for me, whenever I was having a bad day, taking a nap was usually one of the best things. It's kind of like, take a break, shut my mind off. I wake up, even if the problem hasn't gone away, I feel better, at least even a little bit like that little bit of a break and taking the nap. It kind of helps me recharge, refresh, and I can come back to it with a more clear and focused mind. That's just what I always did personally. Um, it helped me a lot throughout college. I would sometimes just be like, uh, like that. And so I just, I'd stop reading. I'd stop doing homework. I would just like take a short nap, 20, 30 minutes, not a huge nap. And it would kind of just like, okay, clear my mind, get back to the task. Or if I was dealing with some kind of personal problem, same thing. It like almost always made me feel better. Again, didn't solve the problem, but it kind of helped refresh me and then I can kind of approach it again with a clear mind, you know? So, work for me, but, you know, whatever works for you, man. <laughs> Bitch, Bichola. Who's Bichola? That was... <laughs> Keeping this all busy with little projects, yeah. When you're working on something, you know, wh whatever that thing is, like having something to work on to focus your energy on, it helps distract, not just distract your mind, it takes it off of it and then you focus on this, right? Because if you're focusing on something like this 100%, your brain can't be thinking about that other crap, you know? So when you really get kind of, you know, into a project you're working on, that just will just kind of naturally happen. You don't have to try to not think about those other things. They'll naturally just kind of disappear because you're so focused on what you're doing, especially if it's something that you love doing, you know? Whether it's working on a project or some kind of hobby or whatever it is. <laughs> I don't know how good I'd actually be as a therapist, as, as, as a real therapist. Um, but uh, at, at least for you guys, you know, if I can help you guys out, you know, in your day, help you guys forget things for a little while, just have some fun, like, then I I'm good, man. <laughs> Yeah, well, I, honestly, I do. I I will say that here. I guess see here. I'm going. We're going on for forever. Um, being in the situation that we're in, it does suck. Having said that, because I'm working from home, I am just kind of generally kind of home more. I wouldn't say it necessarily gave me more time, but just something about. 
being home more just in general, I felt kind of like I was able to do this. Like, I will say this when we go back to when I actually end up going back, you know, into like the office for work, you know, probably not till sometime next year. Will I be able to maintain this 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 kind of schedule? I think I can, but I don't know. We'll kind of see if I adjust the day, if I adjust the time. Um, that's kind of also why I made it Thursdays at seven because I figured even if I was doing like regular work schedule, that should be enough time for me to be able to get home, get things set up, and all that. Um, I don't know what was, what was my, what was my point. What was I starting about? This? Uh, just yeah, the situation. So, um. I think having this kind of thing helps keep me kind of busy in a good way. Helps me keep my, uh, um, keeps my mind off of things going on in the world right now. Cause you know, I need my own escape sometimes too. Occupy, laugh and survive. Yeah. Survive. You know, sometimes it's just about surviving. Like just, you know what? It's going to suck maybe for a while, but you get through it. And then it's like, you know what? It's done. I made it through. I'm good now. And laughing is important. You You got to laugh, man. You know, if you can make it through, if you can get through a day and you have like a, just a good laugh somewhere at something, like it can really make your day. It makes a huge difference. <laughs> cheap, cheap discount for friends. J-pop poofed. Was he in here at all? I didn't see his name pop up. <laughs> Screw you, bro. <laughs> All right, okay, before we get onto any more tangents, I really am going to end it here for tonight, guys. But again, once again, thanks, guys, for coming out. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. I'll figure out what games we're going to do for next week, and we'll keep on rolling. And uh, hopefully, if you guys are around Saturday, 1, uh, 1 o'clock, we'll just be chilling, hanging out, playing some aversion, trying to get the achievements, and uh, hopefully have a good time. That we are, I'm switching to the end of the stream screen so that we have to end it now. We must end it. No more, no more, no more dragging me on. <laughs> I know it's just me dragging myself on half the time, but again, like, I mean, it's, it's, it's totally cool. I mean, I don't mind hanging out with you guys. It's, it's, it's again, one of the best parts about doing this, but, uh, we will end it for here. Not quite as long as last week's, but, uh, still a little more than planned, but that's all right. All right, guys, I'm out of here for real now. Take care, guys. I'll catch you guys later.